climatic container house. Starting from a clear and specific premise, the architect Alejandro Martín Torrente completed the construction, in 2019, of a house with reused cargo containers in a 10,872 square feet lot with a constructed area of 3,100 square feet and applying bioclimatic solutions in Alcala de Guadera, Seville, Spain. Six 40-foot cargo containers and one 20-foot container were used for the project, all of them high cube. When designing the container house, the architecture studio abandoned the idea of making a room inside each container, because one of the requirements was that the house must have two independent double bedrooms, so the idea of creating a more challenging project came up. Once the project was defined, and having determined the final configuration of the cargo containers, its corresponding implementation was carried out on the site, whose orientation is privileged. The flown body of a container, in front, over the pool, frames the porch, and expands it with its northern counterpart, placing the living dining room space in the middle. Note that the container, which appears to be floating, is structured from the top middle, and held in tension, to the bottom on the opposite side. To form the mezzanine, two complete veneers were cut and flipped. A third plate was extended five meters above them to the front. Doors were also fixed at intervals, to support the hole. Lifting the plates, altering their logical compilation, was a great challenge. The integration of a mezzanine, in the main building, facilitates the circulation of the interior air and provides natural light, both to the living dining room on the ground floor and to the corridor on the upper floor. In hot climates, it is advisable to use an alternative architectural envelope, such as ventilated facades. These facades do not represent any noticeable improvement in winter, but they do in summer. Solar radiation falls on the outer layer and heats it. This accumulated heat is dissipated through the ventilated rear layer. In this way, the ventilated layer collaborates with the insulation layer, reducing the amount of heat that reaches the wall, and therefore, prevents the interior of the building from overheating. The characteristics of the lot, with more front than background, favored the realization of the project. As a first impression, a first volume of two heights, blind in almost all its surface, acts as a barrier, and at the same time, as a support to a more intimate environment, after crossing the main door of the house, which was made with reused material. The project of the main container house was developed in an open plan. The interior of the ground floor, where social life takes place, consists of a living dining room, a kitchen with a central island, and one half bathroom. Also, it has a separate bedroom, with bathroom, and space for a double bed. On the upper floor, there are two bedrooms, with space for single beds, and one of them with access to a terrace overlooking the pool. A third bedroom, the master bedroom, with space for a double bed, and a small living room, is equipped with a bathroom, double sink, tub, and a balcony. In addition, the house has a swimming pool, a porch, a solarium, and, at the southern end of the lot, an independent micro-apartment, with a living dining room, a kitchenette, a bathroom, and space for a double bed. This is also called the pool house, which is a 7th 40-foot container, and it was used to test the implemented constructive solutions. Some of the bioclimatic solutions applied in this project were the interior lining of the walls on the ground floor and the upper floor with laminated drywall, the interior lining of the ceiling on the ground floor with laminated drywall and partially with laminated drywall and wood on the upper floor, the thermal acoustic insulation and the exterior cladding, the latter through reinforced cement panels which act as a high-performance ventilated facade. Windows, with adequate solar protection and shading elements, elongated vertically, and located on the inner face of the wall, facing south, as it is the northern hemisphere. These let in less solar radiation in summer, avoiding overheating of sunny buildings. The placement of an integrated eaves, which was designed considering the solar path, over the corridor section, and the living dining room area. In addition to a glazed band with an eaves, facing south, at the top of the second level. There are also shading elements against direct solar radiation on the doors. The combination of all these bioclimatic solutions makes it possible for the building to reach Category A in the Energy Efficiency Rating of the European Union Regulations.
The result of this project was a beautiful fresh building with the reuse of shipping containers, energy efficient, modern style, and with the application of cargitecture and some concepts of bioclimatic architecture, whose purpose is to reduce environmental impacts and reducing energy consumption. Currently, Salvador Solis Rizzo is executing a project on the application of cargitecture to affordable and sustainable living spaces through the video channel on YouTube, Casa Container Door, La Alternativa. In addition, he has the board, container house, architecture with containers, cargitecture, on Pinterest. You can also follow him on his author page on Amazon. The electronic address of each of the mentioned sites appears on the screen. For any questions or comments, please contact him at casacontainerdoor at yahoo.com. Thank you.